Welcome back to the vlog. If you're new here, I'm Julianne and this is all about my life living in Seoul, South Korea. Um, my mom is not here. She was supposed to be here to actually yesterday, but what happened is her first flight from Buffalo to Dallas ended up being delayed because there's an issue with the plane. So then before she even boarded the plane, they were like, yeah, you're not going to miss, you're going to miss your next flight. We're going to have to reschedule you. So they rescheduled her for Saturday morning. So she would arrive here Sunday. And then they were like, yeah, we actually already overbooked that flight. So now we can't get you on a flight till Sunday morning and you'll arrive in Seoul Monday evening. So we've been kind of dealing with that the last like day or so. Uh, so she's in Dallas right now. They have her in a hotel and everything. She will leave tomorrow morning. It's just very unfortunate because that means that like 48 hours of our trip is cut off. And I have not seen my mom in almost two and a half years. So to kind of have those 48 hours like i know she will still be here for five full days but when you're supposed to have seven full days and like 48 hours extra together it is a bit upsetting so i did do a lot of crying on friday and saturday but i am just trying to stay positive now and i'm just going to have a good day me and her were supposed to go to an exhibit today actually in like the guangjin guri area i've never been in that area but it this exhibit looks absolutely amazing it's another like light exhibit it kind of reminds me of like the van gogh exhibit that was going on with like the lights and stuff and people are just like sitting down and just watching all the lights change and all the different um illuminations but so it's kind of like that so i'm very excited for that i'm gonna go with tori and then i think we're just gonna go to a few cafes around there and just kind of explore we went to a cafe yesterday and it was really nice we had a nice long talk about social media and just kind of like how sometimes like social media can make us feel and like for me the biggest thing that i feel like i'm affected by lately and it's like not even on my stuff but like just seeing people being really negative and rude on social media um and i was talking about how like I can see a video of somebody like trying to wear a cute outfit and the comments are so mean and like for example like the one girl i think she was like a size 8 size 10 so like her her like content is like is it is this a fit or is she just skinny like it's that type of thing she'll use pictures like kendall jenner or uh Gigi hadid or bella and she tries to recreate their outfits and like so many people are just like so mean on the internet and i like don't really go on tiktok anymore these days because i feel like tiktok is also really toxic to me because i feel like people are just so mean and everyone's entitled to an opinion but it's just kind of like scroll if you don't like something why is everybody so mean on social media but today we're gonna do this so i will vlog this and try making this a little mini vlog that i can post midweek for you guys and then again, I will have lots of fun content to show you guys when my mom is here and I'll be able to make a really great itinerary for anybody that is interested in coming to Seoul. But I'm gonna finish getting ready now and then let's go.
busy Sunday morning, hiding under covers. I don't mind staying in with you. Play your favorite movie, playing right beside me. I don't mind when it's just us two. The corner coffee shop we like to go. Kate and I walks with you to take me home. With you, I never feel alone. These little songs make me glad to call you mine. And you have got my head in the clouds. No, I'm okay. <laughs> Is your body next to me on rainy days? Just need your company, don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's everything. The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning. I wake to a kiss on my face, so I don't need too much. Just your simple love and it's got done at the cafe and that's my new favorite cafe um, it feels like a home like there's so many different rooms that you can sit in and there's so many dogs and we we're just watching the dogs we ended up ordering well I ordered like two drinks then I got dessert she got food but we stayed there for honestly a really long time because it gives like beach yeah, I feel like I'm in a beach town, but I'm not. Yeah, like, like beach town. It's like the one cafe on vacation that you like go to every morning because it's just like, I don't know. You just feel like you have like a weird connection to it. That's what I was feeling. I loved it. 10 out of 10. If you're ever in Guri, I don't know. Guri? Guri? I don't know necessarily why you might be out this far, but if you are, go to that cafe. On rainy days. Just need your company, don't need too much Just your simple love and it's everything The simple joy of hearing your voice every morning I wake to a kiss on my face so I 